Our team coverage continues right now with Amaris Jenkins. Yeah, Amaris is live for us down on Lockwood in downtown Charleston. This is one of the mm -hmm. typical trouble spots when we talk about coastal flooding events, Amaris. Brad and Octavia, that's right. City of Charleston officials are encouraging residents to be prepared for flooding as high tides are expected to start this morning. Now, as you said, I'm here in downtown Charleston on Lockwood Drive, and this area is prone to flooding. Now, the National Weather Service Charleston says that tides of up to eight feet are expected today, Friday and Saturday mornings. Tides are projected to bring minor to moderate flooding. The National Weather Service says the impacts could even result in some minor flooding to downtown properties. The city is preparing early and says crews are mobilizing personnel and equipment, preparing to check flood mitigation devices and putting up mobile signage. Commuters will tend to uh, try to, te to, tr to test their luck and, and plow through that water. And, and of course, we see stalled vehicles. With um, tidal induced, induced flooding like this, you can expect that it, the water may be high enough in some areas to uh, create stalled vehicles. Now remember to turn around, don't drown, and the city of Charleston does have a link to all flood related closures, and we have that information for you on our website, countonto.com. Live in downtown Charleston, Amir Jenkins, Count On Two. And